What's up guys, Outcome here back with another Let's Talk video and this video is going to be on Street Fighter V Sakura reveal at last night's Capcom Cup 2017 tournament. So for those of you who tuned into that tournament last night at Capcom Cup, Sakura was revealed along with the rest of the Street Fighter V Season 3 cast. So before we talk about the rest of the cast, let's talk about Sakura first. First off, her design, absolutely fantastic. I love her design. I love that they still kept her looking the same. But the only difference is that they just changed her color scheme a bit and gave her more of a black red uh, mature color. To me, the black and red makes her look like a little older a little bit. And I think that was a really good move by Capcom. I love that. I love that her play style is the same, just with more crazy stuff, especially with her V-Trigger. Her V-Trigger 1 is going to give her like um, special move cancels and then her second V-Trigger gives her like a, a upward fireball. Absolutely insane. I cannot wait. And I also love the fact that they gave her the nostalgic stage from Street Fighter Alpha 2. That was absolutely one of my favorite stages in Street Fighter Alpha 2. Uh, the music to that stage I loved. Uh, my second favorite stage in Alpha 2 was the uh, Gen stage. I love Gen stage, that rainy, dark stage. So yeah, those two stages were my absolute favorite in, uh, back in the Street Fighter Alpha 2 days. And also, I want to mention that her new music sounds uh, similar to her old music, which is pretty good. I love that they kept it the same and that they didn't add like weird techno stuff or, or made it some kind of like dubstep or something like that. So I'm happy about that. Uh, also on her ear, you're going to notice she has like a, a microphone piece. Uh, I think that's related to her job. She works like at an arcade or something like that they were saying. And I think it's work related. So yeah. Yeah guys, that's all I have on Sakura. Now I want to get into the, the rest of the cast now. So the way they revealed the rest of the cast was by including them in the new Street Fighter V intro that that's going to occur in the new update for for arcade edition and i thought that was a cool clever way to do it you know because the audience was just looking for the characters you know like oh who's it going to be who's it going to be who's going to be in the game and the first character they noticed was blanca and uh everybody was kind of like saying no you know like nobody wanted blanca in the game he was actually rumored uh, to not be in the game and that he, they were saying he would never make it in the game but he did make it in the game obviously and people are not okay with it me personally I'm neutral with it I'm fine with it uh, I, I'm just hoping he still plays similar but just with crazy nutty stuff so I don't really have a lot to say about him so uh, the next character they showed was Falk Falk is a new female character that's related to Ed in some kind of way I'm not sure what's her affiliation with Ed but we will see. But the one thing I noticed was that she was holding a weapon in her right hand. If you notice on the trailer, she had a blue staff or like a baton type weapon in her right hand. So I'm curious to see if that's going to be in included into her playstyle. If it is, that'll be cool. Just as long as she's not like Relento, because I don't want like a Relento copycat. I want her to have her own playstyle and her own identity. So that's enough. On Falk, the next character reveal was an exciting one, and that character was Cody. Uh, when Cody was on screen, man, everybody erupted, and for good reason. His character is hugely popular, and I can't wait, man. I want to see how his playstyle is going to be. I'm hoping he's got some similarities to his older uh, Street Fighter self, you know, like the the knife and the rock tossing and stuff like that. I just hope they make just small changes, you know, like give him more like street fighting, you know like punch you in the balls or like have a move where he just punches you in the nuts or gives you like a kidney shot to the side or something like that but yeah I just want him to be Cody man he's got a fresh new look you know he looks like he cleaned up his life and I hope that they didn't clean up his fighting style too much I still want him to be dirty Cody <laughs> and the next character was a brand new character named G I know nothing of this character besides him uh, being rumored to be Sodom, Sodom without his mask, uh, and I'm not gonna totally disagree with that rumor because I think Sodom works in a circus, and this character looks 
like he works in a circus. He's got like a flat top hat. He looks like an entertainer at a circus. So maybe it is sold on without his mask. Who knows? Anything is possible, man. Capcom is making crazy decisions these days. <laughs> and of course, the grand finale was Sagat. And man, everybody went crazy. And he looks good, man. They made small changes to him. They gave him sweatpants. And he's got the tape around his ankles. And he just looks like Sagat, man. They just made small changes to make him look slightly different but maintain his traditional like Muay Thai kickboxing look and he looks awesome I just can't wait to see his V-trigger stuff and his super and how he's gonna look kicking and punching and what he's gonna look like when he animates uh, yeah guys it all looks good I have nothing left to say if you guys like this video please consider leaving a like and comment below tell me what you guys think of the new season 3 characters for Street Fighter 5 my name is Severe Alka Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.